Hey guys, today we're doing a little bit of a different video. This is an electric skateboard. It's the Miles Phantom. It just came out. This is going to be my honest review of it and what I think of it and everything that I've noticed about the board since I've gotten it. So without further ado, let's get into the video. We're gonna start off by flipping this over. The The board is optional in two different packages. You can get just the board with smaller 97 millimeter urethane wheels, or you can get the Pro Bundle, which comes with these really beefy 105 millimeter cloud wheels. And then it also comes with shred lights and a backpack. They're still manufacturing the backpack I pre-ordered this and then I got the rush delivery. So I'm one of the first people to have the board. Um, let's do some specs on it. It has a 12S 2P um, battery. It's made out of 21700 cells instead of 18650 cells. So it's a higher capacity battery. It has 1100 watt um direct drive motors so 1100 watts each with a combined wattage of 2200 watts of peak power um the on button is right here so you just click it like that and then it turns on and then when you when you hold it down again and it'll turn off so as you can see these are direct drive motors they are they are direct drive, which means the wheel mounts directly to the motor. You may have seen something like a hub motor before, which I have one right over here. This is the Meepo Mini, currently out of commission because I broke a back hub. Um, but these are, this is what a hub motor looks like. So as you can see, there's only a very thin layer of urethane around the motor and the motor is built into the wheel so this thing you can see like the wheels are completely just destroyed so i don't really recommend hub motors unless you get one with um thicker urethane than this this is like 10 millimeters of urethane so it's really thin but back to the phantom you, it features a drop-through carbon fiber deck, or a drop-down carbon fiber deck. So let's flip this thing over. And as you can see, it has these curves where the, where the trucks are mounted above where you stand. That really helps with stability at high speeds. And it really, really makes you feel comfortable on the board. These, these... Um, what would you call these? These edges, we'll call them, really lock in your foot when it's there. And this board, it can go 30 miles on a charge and 30 miles per hour. And if you're lighter, you can probably even exceed that. So, but that's the advertised specs. If you're a little bit heavier, you'll get less performance. If you're a little bit lighter, you'll get more. But that is their performance-based um, specs so 30 miles per hour and 30 miles on a charge let's go over the remote a little bit so to turn it on you just hold down this top button and it will turn on it says disconnected because my board isn't on so if i just turn on my board now they are connected over here you have your remote battery and the board battery your miles per hour you have your odometer which is like a car's odometer. It tells you your miles, how many miles in total you've put on the board. And the one with a T is your trip odometer, which means if you are if you go on a five mile trip, it will show up there. And the five miles will also add to your total mileage. And then down here, you have your speed mode. Ignore the scratches, that's my fault. Um, there's a thin layer of plastic over the screen when you first get it. And I just left mine on because I've been like, 
I've just been testing the board and it's gotten scratched up as you can see. But over here you have your mode selector or what setting you're in. Speed mode three will get you the top speed. Speed mode one is a little bit um is a little bit too slow for my liking. It gets 15 miles per hour, which is fine. It it's it's honestly a great speed mode if you just want to cruise. Speed mode two is up there like it's a good medium. It'll get you 22 miles per hour, which is a, a good in between from 15 to 30. And then if you click it again, then you have 30. So you can still go 15, 20 miles per hour in the third speed mode. It's just, it's just a lot easier to go faster. And then also there is a little error right there. If you double tap the mode button, you can go in reverse. But enough talking about it. Let's go see how it rides. We're gonna we're gonna go for a first ride today. You can see I've already put 62 miles on this thing. It's so fun. Um, so let's just get out and let's go for a ride. One thing to note before we start this video is I am not paid to say anything. I bought this board 100% my money. I went and I picked it up. I talked to the guys on Miles' board. I live 10 minutes away from their shop. So I went in there, I picked it up. They have excellent customer service and all that. And I'm not paid to say any of this. I'm not I'm not like a huge Miles fanboy or anything. I've ridden boosted boards. I've ridden um, custom boards that can, that can go even further than this one like 50 miles and 40 miles per hour stuff like that but as a put together board this board's great and i'm not paid to say that um i spent my own money on the board i bought it and this is my honest review i'm not gonna lie to you about anything if i if i think the range sucks or that i'm not getting the top speed or something like that i'm gonna be honest about it but so far it's been great so um yeah let's get into the video and let's ride this thing all right first ride of the day let's go you can really tell how the the grooves really lock in your feet Right, right now, I'm doing 14 miles per hour. So, not too fast, but not too slow. This is a really good cruising pace. And one thing to note is I'm using the controller in my left hand, which it, it, the controller is meant for right hand. So you can't see the screen unless you turn it over. And there's really no way to see it while you're riding. So it's really difficult if you're left-handed. Um, that's just something to note. And I am in speed mode one. Another thing to note is with, with different speed modes, here's some trolley tracks. The cloud, the cloud wheels go over anything really easily. But one thing to note with the speed modes is the torque, the torque is the same. So in speed mode one, two, and three, you're, you're gonna start almost equally, or at least that's what I feel like it's doing. I don't feel like speed mode one is any easier to launch, but I don't think it's harder to launch than any other speed mode. And I'm still in speed mode one. I'm just going cruising right now. We will jump up in speed modes in a second. Can we just appreciate how pretty the city looks in the morning when it's all foggy? Looks great. But right now I need to stop on a dime. And I can stop right at the light. No problems. And the brakes. So the torque and the brakes are the same in any speed mode. So we're going to jump into speed mode 2. And we're going to see 
how we go from there. All right, so speed mode two, let's go. Definitely faster. So I'm going 23, 24 miles per hour. And we can break just as fast as you could in speed mode one. But since you're going, since you're going faster, it'll take a little bit longer to break. But that's just common sense. Another good thing about having an electric skateboard is you can lane split. So if you need to, you can lane split. And obviously do all this at your own risk because cars are dangerous, they are machines, and you are on a skateboard. Sure, you can pass cars, but you just want to be careful. Use common knowledge, wear a helmet, safety pads. This thing can go 30 miles per hour and it's dangerous. So use common sense when operating it. Let's talk about these cloud wheels. The cloud wheels are 105 millimeters. They feel amazing on any type of terrain. Like, see this little manhole cover? I could just ride over it, no problems. I was even in the ground a little bit. With the cloud wheels, you will have a higher top speed, which is how you can hit 30 miles per hour. But your range will go down a couple miles. For me, I've noticed my range goes down two to three miles, depending on how I ride. So it's not a lot, but definitely something to take, take a, a note of. One thing I've noticed with the direct drive motors is they don't get hot. I've gone full, super long rides and I have, I have yet to get them hot. They've gotten warm, but they don't get really hot. With my hub drive motors, I've had them get really hot, like to the point where you, it, they really hurt to touch. And these, I haven't gotten them to that point yet. All right, we're gonna switch it into speed mode three. And we are going to try to keep up with cars. So I'm not going top speed quite yet. Still trying to just get used to the board this morning. Let's, right now I'm going 22, 24. Let's see, 26. So I topped out at 27 there. If you really top, if you really tuck into your board and you you get make yourself more aerodynamic, uh, like I've I've hit 30, 31 on this board, no problems. This board has a carbon fiber drop down deck, which means. It is carbon fiber, super strong, light material. And it's not really flexible like other electric skateboards, but I don't think it needs to be. This thing isn't meant to be a flexible board. It's not, it's not a long board. This is a fairly short board. It's uh, 32 inches, I think. And it's really nice for carving around. And it's, it's not meant to be a long board. It's meant to be a short board, portable, but still having really good range and top speed. You can even do some light off-roading with these, with the, with the cloud wheels. Uh, it's a little wet out right now, but we can see if we can go on the grass. Oh yeah, no problems. We're just, we're just cruising over the grass. So this board's great. I'm gonna continue on the ride and I will keep you guys updated on battery percentage and everything like that the further I get into the ride. So let's get going.
another really important feature is the board is IP65 water resistant. So I, you can go through some pretty rough stuff. Like I have grass that kicked up. I have some sand and dirt and the motors are completely waterproof. You could submerge them theoretically um, in water, but they don't recommend that. They don't recommend riding when it is wet, just in case you get injured or something. They don't want a lawsuit. But um, yeah, so the board is water resistant, IP65. You can go over water, you can ride in puddles and stuff and it doesn't affect the board. And the carbon fiber is really tough. So you can go over a lot of stuff and I've had rocks kick up in there when I'm riding and the back of the motors are only a little bit scratched. They're not that bad. But if you do um, damage these, like scratches and stuff, that doesn't really matter. It's not gonna affect the way the board rides. Um, the carbon fiber, I've been leaning it up on this end for a little bit now, and there is only a little bit of scuffing. I was sure that this thing was gonna blister or something, because I keep popping it up and standing it right there on that carbon fiber edge, but nothing. Even the front of the board has almost nothing. And if you're riding the board, and you need to make a quick turn, you can, but you can use this as a kicktail, um, just in a pinch. It's not really meant to be a kicktail, but you can use it if you need to like get out of a situation or something. So it's there if you need it, but it's not there as a kicktail. It's just a little bit of a lip that you can use as a kicktail. Here's some really nice compacted dirt. This is a, a little bike trail. It does really good over um, stuff like that as well. You can even go off curbs fairly easily as long as you're going a little bit of a speed. You just cruise right down it. Not really a big issue. Um, just be careful, obviously. It's honestly impressive that for the price of this, the specs that you're getting, because let's say the Evolve Bamboo GTR, that board gets, um, let's say 20 to 30 miles on the charge. That's with the street wheels and it can go 30 miles per hour. That board is priced at $1,700. And that's only with one set of wheels for two sets of wheels with this one and tread lights and a bunch of accessories you're only paying what i paid was i paid one thousand two hundred dollars and then i also paid a extra two hundred dollars on top of that for rush delivery to get this board quicker and to make this video quicker and for for less than the other boards you get impressive specs you get you get 30 miles top range on a charge that's like if you're going in the first speed mode and if you're a slightly lighter rider i I've, i haven't gotten that and then again i am always on the throttle i'm always touching it i'm cruising in speed mode two right now but normally i'm in speed mode three and i'm punching it going 25 to 30 every chance i get but normally for this board you'll get you'll get i would say probably 20 miles of range oh and i'm using bigger tires or wheels or whatever so i'm using bigger wheels which mean that you're gonna get less range the smaller wheels are more range higher torque higher braking but these are less braking and less, um, what do you call it? Less braking, less torque, but you get a higher top speed and a little bit of your range is sacrificed. There's a helicopter taking off over there. The city looks amazing when it's on. It's so, so cool. How it looks. And I love riding this thing, this thing's there. 
This thing does especially well in the city because of the high mileage. So you don't need to worry about trying to stop somewhere and charge because in the city there's no place for you to stop and charge. Alrighty guys, I completed the ride. We are back. The board is pretty dirty because that was a rough ride. The remote has half battery and the board has about half battery. That was a 13 mile ride. So this has two bars. Normally there's three, I think, in front of that, maybe two. I don't really know. But we have a little bit, I would say a little bit under half battery left. It says we did 10 miles, but actually we did 13 miles. I was tracking it on my phone, my GPS. You can see it right here where I tracked it. And um, I rode in speed mode three for the rest of the ride after the initial, like going through the cycles of what modes and how fast you could go and all that. So, and there's not a lot of battery sag I've noticed. Like. There's speed mode one and you can still hit 15. And it, there's not a lot of battery sag. I've noticed that and it's, it's just really good. So, but I'm gonna end this review here. Let me know what you wanna see in the future. I will take this board out and test it some more. Um, I'm working on a range test soon. So I gotta go somewhere where it's like smooth and flat and um, not really too smooth and too flat, but just like a, a good area to test because going in and out of the city is, it takes a lot more of a strain on battery than normal riding would. So I just need to find like a, a, a nice bike path or something to test the, the full range of this and tell me what else you want to see. Um, just shoot some ideas in the comments. Let me know what you thought of this video. If I should do more electric skateboard content. And other videos like that. And hope everyone has a great day today. And happy 2021. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.